guys, what's up? It's Jan from HID, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about what G-Sync is. So I've done my unboxing video, my installation video, my first experience video on G-Sync, but I haven't really gone in depth of what G-Sync is, what the technology is used for, and what is it used to help with. So let's talk about that for a bit. A bit of background information. Your monitor has a refresh rate, and your graphics card has a rate in which it sends its frames to. When this rate is not the same, you may have an instance where you have artifacts on your screen, and this is known as tearing, in which the frame rate of the graphic card is not being matched with the refresh rate of the monitor, and therefore sometimes you get the monitor gets sent one frame while it's still rendering another one, and you get two frames or even more frames on a single screen, and it looks horrible. So you might have a person's body here, and then has a person's body here, and that, the other part is there, and it looks mismatched, it looks horrible, and no one likes to see that. So that's tearing. A solution for tearing is V-Sync or Vertical Sync. You know, vertical, it goes like this and it makes sure everything's, yeah. Um, what Vertical Sync is supposed to do is it's supposed to match the frame rate to, it's gonna limit your frame rate to the refresh rate of your monitor. So if you have a 60 hertz panel, you're gonna get limited to around maybe at 60 FPS. And so your graphic card's waiting for the monitor to be ready and that's what vertical sync is. There's a couple problems with vertical sync though. You have a thing called juddering or stuttering, whatever you want to call it, in the case that you may sometimes, if the frame rate drops too low and it misses the deadline by which the monitor is ready to refresh, you may have a frame sitting on the monitor for more than one refresh. And so if I have smooth, like my hand is moving like this, you might see a case where it just stops for a bit and then you skip a frame and it goes on and it looks quite horrible and it, it just doesn't look nice. So that's juddering. So G-Sync is supposed to help with that. What G-Sync is, it's a proprietary hardware piece by NVIDIA that is in your monitor and your graphics card needs support also. And what it allows your graphics card and your monitor to do is to talk with each other. And so your monitors, your graphics cards rather, is sending its frames to the monitor when it's ready. So the monitor knows when or the graphics card knows when the monitor is ready and it sends its frames accordingly and it allows the free or refresh rate and the frame rate to kind of agree with each other and so pretty much you don't get the input lag and you don't get the juddering and you don't get the tearing of all the other solutions and it makes your gameplay a lot smoother. So I have 144 hertz panel, it's the VG248 Kiwi monitor. It's the only G-Sync panel that I know of other than the ASUS Swift but that's like $800. I think more people are gonna go for this solution which is like half the price and it's kind of just awesome. And I think I've uh, kind of explained most of what G-Sync is. Um, so your graphics card needs to support it. It needs to be a GTX 650 Ti boost or higher. If you go lower than that, it's not supported. So even if you have a GTX 580 or 570, it will not be supported. Um, so Kepler-based architecture, essentially. And yeah. There's a solution by AMD known as FreeSync, which is the kind of the um, competition for G-Sync and AMD kind of announced it in CES. So there's a couple things with FreeSync. FreeSync is, there's a standard in the VESA, the new VESA standard for DisplayPort 1.3 and some of the current standards like eDisplayPort and some other panel I'm not sure of. Um, so AMD has demonstrated it and it, it's kind of comparable to G-Sync, it's just not as effective as G-Sync. And the problem with it is that they did it on laptops which have like an eDisplayPort or a really short connection, you're not using HDMI, DVI, or anything. And so the connection is really fast and it, the standard is built into there. But when we have monitors right now, which have DisplayPort, or not DisplayPort, HDMI, DVI, VGA, they don't support FreeSync. The standard will be in dis implemented on DisplayPort 1.3, which won't be out for a while. So kind of your only option is this or your gaming notebook, essentially. But who knows? It's just speculation right now. I'm not bagging on um, FreeSync. Like, you need to experience G-Sync to see G-Sync. You can't just say, oh, G-Sync's really cool. You kind of need to experience it because most people won't notice the, um, won't feel or notice the lag with V-Sync until you compare it with G-Sync. And you're like, wow, I can't believe I've been playing on my panel for so long and I haven't realized, and you know, tearing's all gone. It looks beautiful now. So. I'm gonna wait until we can get a sample of how FreeSync works and work with that. We do have an AMD graphics card, 7770, and hopefully it'll be supported there. If not, we're gonna to have to go find a pat, um, 
a new graphics card and I'm going to show you the results. Um, so if you have any questions on G-Sync or if you have any corrections, I'm pretty sure I've said everything right up to now. But if you have any corrections, I'll put some annotations of where I spoke. You guys need to correct me down in the comments. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or criticisms, you may also post it down in the comments. I'd like to hear from you guys because there aren't too many people who want to keep responding about G-Sync and um, I am kind of trying to talk with NVIDIA about some of the questions I have and I'll get back to you guys um, about that. The G-Sync experience blog number two will be out very soon and um, yeah, so thanks for watching and outro time. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jan from HID. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in watching more of our videos, we do have that JCCJ cat link down there. So you can subscribe to our channel, check out our previous videos, and just stay up to date with us by subscribing, like I said a couple seconds ago. There's also over on this side, the like and dislike button and the subscribe button there also. So just hit the buttons that you think you should press. And that's pretty much it. I'm Jan from HID. That comment section there is for you to post your suggestions, comments, concerns, criticisms, and I will respond to you as soon as I can. Anyway guys, I'm Jeff from HID. Don't forget to subscribe and um, thanks for watching. And I'll show you guys out later.